Second Deputy Speaker of Parliament and Member of Parliament for Nadolukeleu, Albanson Mana Kinsport Bagbin, speaking at the 2019 Annual Health Performance Review Meeting of the Nadolukeleu District, commended the entire health workforce in the district in bringing health care to the doorsteps of the people. He was, however, worried about the increasing cases of accidents in the region. It's now beyond HIV AIDS. I don't even know what I can compare it to now. The rate at which we perish through accidents is so high. And it's all from the state of mind. He said the increasing numbers of motorbike accidents has forced him to be reluctant by motorbikes for constituents who are in need of them. And you know, when young people come to me again to buy them a motorbike, I'm very hesitant <laughs> because I don't want to, to let them go before me. I'm ahead of them. I should go and leave them behind. But unfortunately, when you don't do it too, then you have a big problem in your hands. They can vote against you just because <laughs> you don't get them a motorbike. Now that I don't need your votes, I, I, can, I can disclose it to you. Alban Sumana Kinsburg Babin pledged to work assiduously to help provide the rural health directorate with the equipment it needs to provide quality health care to the people. Because, uh, you know, the capping system that the government is implementing has reduced the resources that are going to these departments and units. I hope next year we'll remove the cap and increase the percentages so that more money will get to the people than being pulled at the center and dictated to us whether it's one district, one factory, or one village, one down, or it's one DC hospital, one ambulance. And I was happy when you laughed because they don't know that just a few years ago, we had two. It was not even one. Our DC hospital, we had two. I was able to get two for the DC hospital. You are praising yourself. <laughs> Coordinating Director of the Nadurukeleo District Assembly, Safia Abdullahi, stood in for the Nadurukeleo District Chief Executive, Catherine Lankono. The Assembly, through its budget for 2020, has committed a proposal which, when approved, will see to the construction of uh, our mother's hostel and a kitchen at the hospital under the <laughs> Responsive Factor Grant, formerly known as DDF. We also have in the plan to connect electricity to Goli and um, Loho Chiefs Compound. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam, Nadoli.